The questioner asks, as a white person reading some of your stories and books, I felt a great deal of prejudice and hatred against a white race. Did I misinterpret? A great deal of ha hatred, uh, prejudice and hatred against whites. Uh, I don't think that I have the, my life's too short for one thing. No, 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 I don't, think, I don't think it's either prejudice or hatred against whites. After all, and I may say so, I wrote another country. And I wrote Jumani's Room, which can hardly be called anti-white diatribes. But I think that, I think that whenever, whenever a black person tries to tell the truth about his situation to white people, or to people who think they're white, because white is, white is a state of mind, it's even a moral choice. Every time, if, if my testimony is true, my testimony is a black citizen of this country, or a black would-be citizen of this country, if my testimony is true, then the American myth is a lie. And when this collision happens, I am accused of being prejudiced against white people. I have better sense and don't have that much time. I don't have some white person locked up in my skull, walking around me every day and every hour. White people have a black person though locked up in their skulls, their skulls. And that is how they, that's why they treat black people the way they do. You see what I mean?